Oh. <laughs> I would really miss it if I didn't have it because the other chair that I have is, uh, I think it was like $20 from Ikea and it is it is extremely uncomfortable. So definitely, I would, I mean, I'd have to go get something else, you know, I would hugely miss it. My favorite ways to sit on the soul seat are, I really enjoy Indian style if I'm if I'm wearing something like I am today. Um, I also really like knees back, or a lot of times I do one knee back, one or the other, um, just to kind of keep all of your all the blood flowing. I also do both knees back. This really helps, I think, getting your, getting your shoulders back, posture straight. And then whenever I'm dressed up, I still, I still use it, even when I'm dressed up for a client meeting or something, I just often sit just like this. And I think that the biggest, you know, the biggest factor is that there's no lumbar support. So you're constantly, you're holding yourself up all the time, which is, you know, where you get all those strength and posture benefits. I think when I first started using the Soul Seed, I could see almost immediate effects, um, effects that I hadn't seen using a ball, sitting on a ball at my office, in my office or even just from working out and trying to focus on my back and ab muscles, I really couldn't tell a difference. Um, and I have to say, I don't really feel like, it doesn't feel painful sitting on it or like I'm working out or something while sitting on it. It really is extremely subtle. I just notice now when I'm walking around, I have better posture and it's easier for me to keep my shoulders back and my, my posture in a better position. So, and the only thing I, you know, can attribute it to is the soul seat. I am a designer, so to me, the aesthetics really did play a big part in, you know, even if I loved the chair, honestly, if it was not appealing to me aesthetically, I don't think I would want it around. Just I don't really like ugly stuff or <laughs> things that I perceive as ugly. So I was thrilled to get to pick out the, um, the fabric, and I actually got this at Ikea in Chicago. So I even traveled a little bit to get here, and I've just... I love it. I think it looks really classy and cute and it gets a lot of a lot of good attention, so a lot of good feedback. I definitely I would say that it helps me the most in my work feel like I am doing something proactive for my body, even though I do something that's very sedentary and, and probably unhealthy for my body, staring at the screen, using you know, the mouse and the keyboard, um, I definitely can feel some of the negative effects of doing this day in and day out. So this makes me feel like I'm doing what I can to, you know, to be proactive in, in battling the negative effects of what my job does to my body. Uh, the name of my company is Hoop Design Co. Um, I really came up with the name because I wanted it to be fun, kind of fun and easy to say and hopefully memorable because it's a little bit out there. Uh, I really wanted something kind of fun and funky because I think design is a really fun industry and uh, it really lets you kind of be yourself and have your own voice and to me that was also should be implied in the name too. I do think I do think the Soul Seed is a really good name um, for Soul Seed. I think um, it kind of invokes like the yoga, um, you know, that mentality, the health of the body and the the soul kind of thing. So I also think the shape it's very fluid, especially for um, a chair. You know, it's definitely not what you think of as a chair. So I think you know, I think it fits perfectly with the design and the purpose. Thank you.